Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. And we're gonna be looking at the past, present, future energies for you regarding love and a little bit about your energies and this other person's energy that you might have been dealing with already or will be dealing with in the future. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, let's jump right in for Libra. Spirit angels, guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Libra regarding love? What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know regarding love? Okay, let's see. Past energy, Six of Cups present energy, the chariot, cancer energy there, and then the future energy is the hangman. Interesting. On your side, we have the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. And on their side, we have the nine of wands and the knight of wands. Yeah, I feel like there's something coming towards you in the present moment or in the near future. Um, but I also feel like whatever's coming towards you, you're wondering about, you're evaluating, you're thinking about this new opportunity, Ace of Pentacles, that's coming towards you. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So I feel like whatever this is that's coming towards you, I think it has potential for long term. For some of you, this could be a job offer. Let's put the overall energy over here. Let's get some clarity. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Libra in love. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Libra. What do we need to know? Wedding bells. Wedding bells are ringing. Bottom of the deck, coming together. What is happening? Destiny reunion meeting. Destiny has brought you together. Libra, I feel like for a lot of you, this is something coming in that's new or you were waiting for. Something with the potential for long term with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you could be getting proposed to some of you with this Ace of Pentacles. We'll clarify. I don't know who this is, but they're coming in hot with the Knight of Wands. And I feel like they're coming in and you're just not sure about them. You're just not sure because the hangman is here. So it's like you are thinking about this, looking at this from all angles. Let's get some clarifiers out here. Spirit, can we get some energies, please? Some clarity for Libra. What do we need to know about these energies for Libra? Let's start with this Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? What's this Ten of Pentacles about? The Nine of Pentacles, independence, freedom, success. What else we need to know about this Nine of Pentacles? Page of Swords. Okay, so some of you, this is definitely like a job I don't know why you know this is a love rating so but I'm just getting that message um, some of you this is a job and you're like evaluating it others of you I feel like you've caught someone's eye nine of Pentacles the nine of Pentacles tends to be a very attractive individual um, they have a lot going for themselves they look good let me get one more can I get one more for this ten of Pentacles and then I have the Page of Swords. So it's almost like a conversation, a message, some sort of information, um, or it could be like online applications or you know online research about a career. But I feel like whatever this is, it's, it's like it's, it's coming towards you. Yeah, King of Swords. Like someone's probably going to talk to you about this. Could even be a promotion. There's the Eight of, oh, eight of Swords and then the Four of Wands. I think that this could provide a lot of stability, whether it's a job offer or a love offer. Um, 
And I feel like you're going to be thinking about it. Again, it's like this King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The King of Swords, Page of Swords, they're the analytical ones. They're the ones that look into everything, look at the details of things. They're very focused on the truth, the, having the right information, etc. So let's see what else we need to know here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. This is in the recent past, the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? What's the Six of Cups about? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. So that's just definitely this coming together energy. And then we have the world at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like in the recent past, leading up to whatever's happening now, there's like a potential for you to meet someone. Maybe you already met someone. Maybe you're dating around. There's something here about like something that's divinely guided or fated destined. Tell me about the Six of Cups. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's coming in. Whatever this is, it's coming in and it's quickly. And the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Whatever's coming in, it, it's happening quickly, Libra. And I feel like, I don't know, it, it was meant to happen this way. Um, things are moving quickly for you, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe it's so sudden that you're like, I got to think about this. I can't just be accepting whatever comes in. Yeah. Hold on. Tell me about the chariot. I feel like this could also put you like, or, or um, redirect you. It's like maybe you were already on a certain path and then this comes in and you're being redirected with the chariot. This could also be a visit as well from a, an individual or just there's something coming towards you. That's really what I'm seeing. Tell me about the chariot. What's this chariot about? Why is the chariot here, Spirit? Ten of Wands. What's this? The star Aquarius energy. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be evaluating this. Yeah, and the Page of Cups. I feel like there's, there is an offer coming your way, Libra. And for whatever reason, you're going to be thinking about it a lot. I think that this is coming at the perfect time. Maybe you've been dealing with a lot recently with the Ten of Wands. Maybe you've been healing, taking care of yourself, self-care. feel like a lot of you yeah the three of swords so maybe you've had recent heartbreak or difficulties maybe you've been sad um dealing with a lot like i said with the ten of wands and then this comes in i think a lot of you just weren't prepared <laughs> like i uh, because i i do see you kind of like your mind going a mile a minute with like with the seven of cups and the hangman it's almost like what am i going to do about this two of pentacles as well do I accept? Do I take a chance now that this is here? Tell me about the hangman. Now the hangman looks at something from a different angle. Queen of Pentacles. So now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. Three of Swords. And the Knight of Swords. Yes, there's definitely like a message or something coming in. I know I'm like sounding like a broken record, but you know, I'm just letting you know that the message is being confirmed. Um, yeah, Four of Swords. I think some of you are not gonna be able to like, in the near future, uh, because this is the near future energy position here. I feel like a lot of you are not ready to just accept right away i think you're gonna have to think about this for a little bit of t like for a little while and that's why i think that a lot of you the king of swords page of swords is here it's like let me look into this or let me talk to you a little bit more or let me get some more information before i accept whatever this page of cups ace of pentacles is you know some of you i really feel like this is a proposal from someone that you are already with six of cups 
and maybe you've had a whirlwind romance or maybe things have moved very quickly and now that your person and you are discussing the future and where you want to go with this relationship maybe you're thinking it's a little bit too fast we're moving a little bit too quickly we need to slow down and really think about what we want to do am i doing the right thing etc others of you i feel like you're out of like a recent um or maybe it's not recent but i feel like even in the recent past, you were still burdened or dealing with some past hurt, past pain. And I feel like as you heal, as you focus on yourself, inadvertently you're attracting new energy to you, Libra. And I feel like maybe you weren't ready for it. Maybe it's like, I still need to focus on me, on my career, on my whatever it is that you're focused on right now, my health. And it's like, and I don't really want to be thinking about this or that at this time, or I'm not ready to take this into like a serious, I don't want to, I don't want to think about too many serious things. Like for example, moving in together, engagements, things like that. I think a lot of you, whoever it is that you're dealing with in the, in the recent past or right now, or in the very near future, if you meet someone. I think what's gonna surprise you or take you aback a little bit is that you do see a future with this person. Like if you've been looking for your future husband or wife, this is that person. And so it's like, now that they're here, what are we gonna do? You know, let's jump down to your energies down here. Let me get a romance angel. Great. Can we get a little bit more insight into this connection between Libra? I was about to say Pisces. My goodness. Between Libra and the person that they are dealing with, have been dealing with, or will be dealing with. Spirit. Oh my gosh, that came out of nowhere. Okay, so we have release your ex and keep an open mind. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you, there's something in the past that maybe you've already left or are needing to leave, needing to detach from. And now you have to keep an open mind for what's ahead, what's coming in. Bottom of the deck is true love. Some of you need to watch the Gemini reading <laughs> because I'm getting very similar energies, even though I use like a whole different deck for you guys and stuff. And I actually filmed Gemini yesterday. So it's not like, you know, this is completely new um, reading that I'm doing. But they got very similar energies over there. So check out that Gemini reading if you'd like. Okay, so let's get into your energies down here between you and this person. Spare some clarity, please, for Libra and this other individual. Libra, I have you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip these energies if it resonates more for you. And don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoy how I read and want to see more videos from me. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles spirit for Libra. Why is the Two of Pentacles here with the Ace of Pentacles? The Magician. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you, you this is what you've been waiting for or wanting. Um, or maybe you manifested this. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. But you're still like thinking about it. Yeah, this is be this is being handed to you. Six of Pentacles. If you put in work, you know, or effort into your career, you're getting something back in return. And then the Hermit. You're thinking about it. Virgo energy. Yeah. A lot of you are thinking about it. I think a lot of you are worried. Yeah. A lot of you are worried about this new beginning. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles, Seven of, so of Wands, and the Fool. So I see you kind of being um, a bit guarded here because maybe this will require a little bit of a risk on your part. If you accept this job offer, this proposal, if you accept an apology perhaps, because I do have the Page of Cups here, um... I think that this will set you on a new path and that's where the hesitation comes from because there's the knight of cups by the way i feel like this is uh the chariot is like i said the chariot was leading you somewhere new and i think there's a bit of fear there because the new is unfamiliar tell me about the nine of wands and the knight of wands 
What do we need to know, Spirit, about the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands? These two. Five of Cups. And there you are, Libra, with justice. Making things right. Contracts. I think whoever is uh, coming towards you with this offer is a bit afraid that you're going to say no. Tell me about the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Can I get one more, please? Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. I feel like this person, they would love for you to say yes. Just say yes. There's the higher font at the bottom of the deck, Taurus energy. Some of you, I'm starting to think that this is definitely like, let's get married, let's move in together. An engagement. Others of you, if this is a job offer, I feel like this person thinks it could go either way. Either you're gonna say no, which will be disappointing, or you're gonna say yes, and it's gonna be like everything that they wanted here. And now they just need you to sign that document, sign that contract, sign the offer letter, etc. Can I get one? Uh, I'm going to get two more. Can I get two more, please, for the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands? This person's motivated, passionate, eager. Ten of Swords. Please ignore my dog. Tell me about the Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands. What else do we need to know? Oh, I got two more. The Hierophant and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, again, very similar energy. I feel like some of you, you might have been even thinking about leaving your job. Or maybe you just didn't feel like you wanted to, you didn't have maybe a lot of time to give to a connection. Or you were wondering if this is even the connection that you were wanting. And I feel like maybe this other person got a bit scared and so they're being proactive, right? Like they're they're almost like thinking ahead. Like, you know, I want Libra to know that I'm serious about them. And so I'm going to make them this offer and hopefully they understand that I want to keep them around. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Nine of Wands, the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person, yeah, Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yeah, they're worried about what you're going to decide. They don't want to lose you, this person, whether it's a boss, a supervisor, a, uh, a partner, a new partner, whatever, whoever it, this is. <laughs> they don't want you to go elsewhere. That's kind of what I'm getting here. I'm going to use a um, Secret Moon Oracle deck. Obviously, this deck is not going to have anything about jobs or career. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Can I get some um, energies, please, Spirit, on this person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this individual's energies towards Libra? What do we need to know? I love you. And this is out of my control. Well, yeah, it's out of their control because the decision is up to you. Bottom of the deck, I see forever with you. Exactly. I feel like whoever this is, for a lot of you, I do think it's a proposal. And for whatever reason, they feel like there's a good chance you might say no to this proposal. Um... Obviously, your boss is not going to tell you I love you. I mean, I hope not. <laughs> That's not the case for most of you. That would be a little awkward, right? If you're like at a performance review. <laughs> but maybe they might say, you know, I love your work. I love what you do here. I love your contribution to the team. Um, I love how we all get along, that kind of energy. And I really want you to stick around, you know. But for others of you, this is definitely, I feel like, a love offer of some sort. And it's going to be up to you to decide what you're going to do about it. I just see you thinking about it, Libra. I don't see you saying yes or no right away. So that's what I have for you for the second half of May. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Libra. 
Uh, if you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below if this resonated. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.